there! So today we are going to be doing a quarterly review of my Ipsy bags and this consists of bags for the month of January, February, March, and April. And I will go ahead and kind of go month by month and let you know what I thought of the products that I received in my bag. Now if you didn't know, Ipsy is a $10 a month subscription. Sometimes you get full size products and sometimes you get sample size, but I feel like if you use up those deluxe sizes, you, you do have a feel of whether you like the product or not. And a lot of the times they are products that maybe I had never heard of before Ipsy. So it's really cool to be introduced to brands that I never knew about or even brands that are inside of Ulta and Sephora that I can get my hands on but kind of never have sampled or thought to sample if that makes sense. But either way, I'm a really big fan of Ipsy. Um, on my YouTube channel, I do try to put up every single month my unbaggings. So this is where this idea stemmed from because I do show you like swatches and you know say ooh and ah over the shiny stuff. But I never really get in depth and I wanted to kind of come back and let you know what I thought of these products and whether or not I think Ipsy for that month or Ipsy in all is completely worth it. So hopefully this will help you if you are looking to, you know, maybe grab a subscription yourself. Um, I love BoxyCharm and I really do like Ipsy. So again, hopefully this helps. And thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you will stick around to the end. I do talk a lot, so we will go ahead and get started. All right, so we'll go ahead and start with January. Now this lip gloss is from the brand Fluid and it is in the shade Elsewhere and it's kind of like this blue tinted lip gloss and it's really cool and it kind of looks a little murky because I've tried this over like lipsticks and whatnot so it kind of looks a little gross, I apologize. But either way, it is really nice and so this is a full size and they do sell it at their website at fluid.com for $7.50 and I actually took a look at their website and it is sold out so a lot of people apparently are liking this enough to to the point where it's sold out. So it claims to be moisturizing and it contains um, vitamin E and jojoba oil and I really do agree with that claim. Um, you know, I'll put it on and at first it's really shiny, you know, just as you see in the swatch. It pairs well with, um, you know, matte liquid lipsticks or um, just any kind of lipstick that I put over, but I also really like it by itself. The lasting power of it is quite amazing as well. Um, you know, even after I have like a drink or a snack or whatnot, I feel like even if the top layer is a little bit, you know, less shiny, I still feel like I have some kind of like a balm on my lips, which is amazing because the last thing that I like at the end of the day is for my lips to feel completely dry and cracked and have to keep reapplying and reapplying and sometimes um, you know, with lip glosses especially, they kind of wear away really quickly. So this is definitely a winner and I mean, I probably never would have tried this brand had it not been for Ipsy. So that is really cool. And then next in the bag, I got this Ahava Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream and it is in the Scent Sea Kissed, I believe. So here it is here and it's a little sample and this smells so freaking good. I, when I first opened the bag, I was in love with this scent and I feel like it lingers but not to the point where it kind of just makes you nauseous or whatnot, but it feels so luxe on your hand and it's the kind of um, moisturizer that kind of seeps into your pores and once you wash your hands, you know, some of those lotions where you just don't feel it any longer, this one does feel like it, the moisture is kept in. So I really, really love that. And this is a sample size, but you can buy the full size at Ulta. That retails for $24 for a 3.4 ounce and this little sample size is 1.3 fluid ounces. So it's quite a lot bigger, but this, is definitely something that I will look forward to, um, you know, repurchasing in the future, especially at Ulta with their point system. I know I always talk about it, but it really is that good. But I, I am very impressed with this. And at the price, I don't think that I would have purchased this on my own. So it was really nice to sample it. All right, so next we have a brush. And you will see quite, um, I think I have like 
three of them here total out of the four months because you if you go on your beauty profile for Ipsy, you can let them know and review products as you get them each month, whether you like to receive them, whether you love to receive the brand and stuff like that. So I really feel that they do pay attention. Um, so that's really nice. And I like receiving brushes, so I always highly review them, you know, especially if I like them. But um, this is from Billion Dollar Brows and it is their foundation brush. So here it is, it's a really nice brush and it's like a flat foundation brush. Now I don't like these as foundation brushes and I knew that upon getting this in my bag. However, what I do like to use these types of brushes for is for either like putting my primer on when I just don't feel like touching my face that day or I like to put masks on using this and you can definitely smooth out the mask and it's, it's really nice. So that's what I have been using this for and it's been washed a few times but it still is holding up. You know, I don't feel that any of the bristles have fallen out or anything and it still feels very soft just as when I first got it. So I'm very impressed with this. And at the company's website you can purchase this brush I believe it was on sale for $18 and regularly $22. So I don't feel that I would buy this type of brush for $22 because you can definitely get something like from e.l.f. for a lot cheaper. But it was still nice to receive in the bag and I am definitely not mad at that. Two more products left for January and so next up this is from Ella Eden London and this is a mineral pressed eyeshadow in the shade, in the shade Julia. And this was a really nice product. I really like the shade. It's a really soft, kind of pearlescent pink color. And I'll go ahead and swatch it here. And it's absolutely beautiful. It feels really creamy. Here it is right here. It's a really, really nice, see that pink right there? So I've used this as a highlighter and I don't love it, but I can use it as a highlighter because my skin is so fair. And I will go ahead and put a picture up here. Yesterday I actually put it on as an eyeshadow and I've used it a few times before that. And the shade is really subtle. It's really nice. You know, I yesterday I put on a really simple look. I put like a bronzer in my crease and then put this all over the lid and kind of used a little bit of a brown eyeliner. And I thought it was really nice and I'll show you a picture at the end of the day as well and I feel like it definitely stayed put. So you can use this wet or dry and I did both. Um, I first applied it with my finger dry and it was just fine. So then I went in and I kind of spritzed my brush with um, just water and I, I thought that it looked really nice. It didn't get clumpy or anything. It's a really creamy product and since it lasts long, I definitely think it's a really great shadow. I would, you know, I would be interested in seeing what other shades they have. I know on the website they're, um, I know at the company's website it said that they retailed for $14, which I find pretty expensive. You know, you can get a ColourPop eyeshadow for $5, maybe even less if it's on sale. I still think it's really nice, so I'm glad that I have it in my collection. Um, and I, you know, I don't find the need to declutter it or anything, but I don't know if I would pay $14 for a single eyeshadow. I don't know. Maybe I'm just cheap. <laughs> so lastly in the bag for January is this Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. And this is an oldie but a goodie. Now my cousin, this is her favorite foundation ever. And I can see why she would like it. So yesterday I put it on and I'll, sh I'll put the same picture up where I was wearing this Ella Eden eyeshadow. I was wearing this Tarte foundation as well just to put it to the test. And I used a hydrating primer with this because it is um, supposed to be a matte foundation. And I thought it wore beautifully throughout the day. You know, I felt that it was a really natural looking foundation. It, it has like a mousse like texture to it, which I didn't think I would like at first, but I feel if instead of, you know, uh, putting it on with a brush, I definitely like to dab it in with a beauty blender, like a damp beauty sponge. And I feel that I personally like the finish of that a lot more. Like I said, it looks super, super natural. So I think that the eye look that I wore it with fit it just fine. For the days that I do like to look a little more natural, I, I, I definitely would pick this up. And I, I know that I want to use this tube up. I don't know if they have a shade lighter and that is definitely something that I would have to 
pick up because this I think is a little bit too orange and I find that a lot of Tarte foundations are like that for me, at least the older ones, but I'll show you a swatch here. So it's right here and it just runs a little too, too yellow or almost orange, honestly. So that I didn't like about it, but they could have done a lot worse in a subscription box, that's for sure. But I really do like the consistency. I think that I would try it out, but I I, I believe I would wait for like a, a sale on their website. You know how they do like the friends and family sale when it's 25 to 30% off or something crazy like that? I think I would get it then, but I definitely wouldn't pay the full like $39 price for this. You can buy this at Ulta for $39 for a 1.7 ounce. Um, this little sample size was, I have it written down here, it was seven milliliters. So it's quite a pricey foundation. I don't think that I love it, but I definitely don't hate it. And I like, I like the coverage, which was kind of a medium coverage on the lighter side of medium, which is really nice. If you have a lot to cover up, I don't know if this will do it for you. But if you like that natural look, if you like, you know, really light feeling foundation, I definitely would recommend this one. All right, so now we will be moving on to the February 2019 bag. And this was a really great bag in my opinion. So now first up, we have this Perlis Coconut Oil and Coffee Silk Body Butter. And this was a little baby sample. And if you wanted to purchase the full size, it's for six ounces, it's gonna be $24. And this sample size was one ounce. So uh, quite a lot bigger than this bad boy. So I thought that I would like this one a lot more than I did, unfortunately. I, I think it's extremely hydrating and I think it feels really nice and it's thin, but still it seeps into the pores in the best way possible. But what I couldn't get over with this product was the scent of it. Now, it's not an overwhelming scent. It's more of a, it's real, it, it sucks that I have to say it, but it's not, it smells kind of plasticky. And it could be that this is just a really old sample, but it, it you know, it isn't enough to deter me from trying other Perlis products because I thought, like I said, it was really hydrating. It did just that, just like a good moisturizer should. But the scent was just off and I didn't like it. I have been using this just kind of like on the heels of my feet, you know, when they feel a little bit dry and it's been doing great for that. But when I put it on my hands and when I put it on my arms, I don't like the scent. I can't get over it. I know that's really silly, but that's that's just the review that I have for this one. Sorry. So this is from the brand Chella and this is their eyeliner pen in purple. And this was a brand that I actually had heard of previously to Ipsy. We actually received um, an eyebrow product from them in our BoxyCharm and I have it here. So this is the Chella eyebrow product and it is the Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. And it's really cool because it has a brush on one end and then if you twist this end off, it has the eyebrow product inside. And I actually took this on a trip with me not that long ago because it's so freaking convenient and I absolutely love this product. So when I saw that I received um, an eyeliner from them, I was really excited. So now it is a felt tip eyeliner and look at how sharp that bad boy is. It's really nice and you can hear it. Kind of just have to shake it up and then, so I didn't know what kind of purple it was going to be but it's a really deep kind of plummy purple. It's absolutely beautiful. And it is actually what I have, it's right here. It's what I have on my eyes today. And I have been wearing it for a really long time. And I'll put a picture up here, that way you can see it. It, it, looks, it looks black nearly. And so if I was like dead set on a purple eyeliner, I would have been disappointed. But either way, I think this is absolutely beautiful. And especially with this like really loud eye look that I have, it, it kind of still goes with it, I think anyway. I have really watery eyes 
and I don't feel that it's smeared at all. But anyway, I'm really excited about this product and I love the tip, the felt tip of it. I don't think it bends too much to make it to the point where it's difficult to put on the liner. It's beautiful and I don't feel that it bleeds in my inner corner, which is something that I find happens a lot with eyeliners. So this was definitely a a great great product to get in my bag um this is the full size and it is let's see 0.7 milliliters and you can buy this on the website for 21 dollars. so when i was looking on the website it actually had that little pop-up where it said you can get 15 percent off if you like enter your email and whatnot so even then you can you know get a great deal on this as well as free shipping I don't know if you hate to pay for shipping, but I'm just cheap like that and I really hate to pay for shipping. So honestly, I think once I run out of this, I want to try it in the shade black. So, I mean, if that doesn't tell you I really liked this product, I don't know what will. <laughs> Moving on, I have here next is this, and I think I'm saying it right, but it's the Laka, Laqua? No, it's gotta be like Laka. It's L-A-Q-A, Laka? Laka and Company, and this is their prickly pear lip gloss and i went on the website to see how much the larger size was and it was actually sold out which is pretty cool i mean great for them you know it didn't even list the price of the larger size so i don't know how much that one is in comparison to this one but they did have this size available um for five dollars which i think is a really great price so the scent of this is absolutely intoxicating and i i think that was my favorite part of it like, not only is it a really good product, but it really does smell like prickly pear. It's so, it's so good. I look like a dork sniffing it. It smells that good, but I'll go ahead and swatch it for you here. So this is the type of lip product that is supposed to kind of change with your pH balance or whatnot. And I don't feel like it changes too much on my lips anyway, but here it is here. And it, it has some color to it but I don't feel like it's an overwhelming shade and I do have it here in this picture but I will pop up again so you can see I'm wearing that alone by itself and I really think it's easy to apply I don't feel like it like bleeds out or anything I think the shade is really really beautiful and most importantly it's comfortable and I think it lasts really long I don't think it lasts as long as the fluid lip gloss does but it still has a really good lasting power and it's not sticky whatsoever which is really nice because i know a lot of people don't like that i don't care either way really but this one was a really nice experience and i swear that scent alone would get me to repurchase this in a larger size or even purchase the mini size all over again but i was glad to have received this and then lastly in february's bag we got this ico lash alert mascara and now this is, let's see, so it says that it has caffeine and a double dose of fibers for instant volume curl and definition. So it is a teeny tiny little size and the wand on this is actually really cool. So it's like a curved wand and I thought at first I wouldn't like that too much but I actually really liked it and I had to look at it and then kind of angle it to where I needed it to be when I put it on. But I thought this mascara was really good and I'll go ahead and put up some pictures of myself not wearing it and then wearing it. And I really do think that it makes my lashes look thicker and very lengthened. So I'm impressed and I absolutely love their eyeliner as well. So Ico is a brand that I have become more familiar with because of my ipsy bags and I'm very happy and I hope to receive some more stuff from them in the future. And you can actually purchase this online at Ulta for $26, which is pretty pricey, but I think if you like those fiber type mascaras, then you would really like this one. I think it's really good. I don't know if I would purchase it for $26 to be quite honest, but it was really good and I have been enjoying it. I forgot there was one more product left in the February bag and I don't have it here because I immediately found that it had rose in it and so my skin doesn't like rose for some odd reason. It just gets really irritated and it's not a good thing, but I 
pass that along to my cousin and she is using it. It's the Touch and Soul Primer Water. So the sample size was a teeny tiny one, but the full size at Ulta is 1.01 ounces and it is $23 for the full size. It actually didn't have any reviews when I saw it at Ulta and I've never used like a water primer before so I can't say that I would have liked it had I tried it. I was interested but again I read that ingredient list, I saw that it had rose and I was just like okay no. So I couldn't, I apologize but I do know that I do like the touch and soul like the regular primer, the pore, no pore bloom, that's really hard to say, the no pore bloom primer. We got that in a boxy charm and I absolutely love that. It leaves my skin feeling really velvety smooth and so that one was a winner. I'm hoping that the primer water was really good too. I don't know, sorry. So I can definitely say that March 2019 was a bag that I was probably the most excited about so far because it had a product in it that I really wanted to try and I just hadn't at that point in time. And wah, 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 I actually used up the little tiny sample. So I don't have it with me, but I'll put a picture up here. And this is by the brand Pharmacy and it is their cleansing balm. I was so stoked to try this out and sadly, I absolutely hated it. So the first time that I used it, I felt that the scent was really strong for some odd reason and I was afraid to put it on my skin. And it did make my eyes burn just the littlest bit. But overall, honestly, I felt that I needed to use a ton of it just to get my makeup off. And that doesn't happen with like the Pond's cleansing balm that I have or the number seven cleansing balm that I just recently have been loving. Those are a fraction of the price of that pharmacy um, cleansing balm, but they did so much more work and took off so much more makeup. So I am definitely confident in saying that I would not purchase the full size of that pharmacy cleansing balm. So glad that I got to try it. I'm glad that I didn't splurge and get a larger size and just tried the sample. So thank you Etsy for saving me money. So next up is this Yensa BC foundation and this is supposed to act as kind of like a primer, a moisturizer, and a foundation. Kind of like a three-in-one type deal so I thought that was super cool. Um, I actually took this on a trip and it was really all that I needed and I am wearing it today and I have been wearing it for about I want to say six hours and I'll go ahead and put a picture up here for when I first applied it. And I did have to dab my face a little bit because I was outside and it's seriously like 90 degrees outside. It's so very hot. But I think for the fact that I didn't have a primer, I, I think it looks really good. And I'll come up close. So it, it looks really nice. And like I said, I did have to dab my face a little bit because it was a little bit shiny and I wanted to not look a hot mess on camera but it has worn away as, I'll pick up my glasses. It has worn away as you can see under my glasses, which I find that a lot of foundations do anyway. So I don't hate it for that, but this is like the telltale right here on the sides of my nose. If a foundation is gonna break up right there, it's just, it's a no-go for me. But I think this one, for the amount of time that it has been on my face and for the temperature that it is outside, I think it's holding together really, really well. This sample size is 0.34 fluid ounces, and you can go on the Yenza website and actually purchase the full size for $38, which is 1.1 fluid ounces. And I think it's quite pricey, but at the same time, I'm really, really leaning towards getting the full size. Is that crazy? I don't know. But I really like that it has an SPF of 40 because I have to admit I'm a little negligent when it comes to you know putting an SPF on or making sure that it's on my face anyway and I feel like a lot of people are and it sucks and I should be better and maybe one day I will be better <laughs> but as of today I'm not the best at it I'm just being honest but I, I think that since this has so many wonderful ingredients in it I think that's really cool you know it's kind of taking care of my skin in a way that I don't take the time to take care of it myself, if that makes sense. So I really do think that I'll purchase the full size and you don't need a lot of it. Like I today to cover my entire face, I use, I wanna say um, it was a little bit larger than a pea size amount for each side of my face. So it was really 
really impressive for the coverage that it gave. Solid medium coverage, you definitely can build it up, but I don't like to um, in general, not just with this foundation, but I don't like building up my foundations a lot. I just don't like that feeling, but I think this is absolutely beautiful. I know I probably wouldn't have tried it without Ipsy, so I'm very, very excited to have received this. So after that, I did receive a brush, and this is from Royal and Langnickel, and this is just the angle brush, and it's really nice. It's actually dirty, I'm sorry. <laughs> so specifically, this is the BMX 465 Precision Angle Brush, just for reference, but I will have everything listed down below. And I think it's a really nice, comfortable, like it feels really sturdy, and it has this uh, handle, which is really nice. It's kind of like rubberized, so it's really nice. On their website, you can actually get this brush for $5.99, which I think is an amazing price. Um, you know, I've washed this a few times over, and it still feels extremely soft. I do use this brush just to kind of um, get like a, a setting powder and then put it all over my eye because it is angled, so it makes it easy to dab over my eye, and it's soft enough to where I don't feel like it's poking my eyeball out. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> but anyway, very excited to have that one. And then next, I got to try this Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer from First Aid Beauty. And this, from what I understand, is a Sephora exclusive. You can get the full size, which is 1.7 ounces, for $28 at Sephora. Now this little guy is 0.34 ounces, and you really don't need a lot when you use this one. So it does smell like coconut in the nicest way possible. It's really light and subtle, and it does definitely leave a little bit of glow. So if you don't like a little bit of glow, you obviously wouldn't like this one, but I don't think it's like a shiny, sparkly, glittery glow. It's a really nice kind of lit from within, as all the beauty gurus say. It's a really nice, nice, beautiful sheen to it. So here it is swatched on my hand. So it's really nice and it dries down very quickly. I think it absorbs into the skin nicely and I don't feel like it's very much catered to my skin, which is kind of oily combo. Because if I put too much of it on, I will get too oily in my T-zone. So I feel just like with the Smashbox Primerizer that I love, this one is a little thicker in consistency, I feel like, but when you smooth it out, it, you know, it doesn't feel thick on your skin whatsoever. I have to start at the sides of my face and then work my way in because if I put too much on the center of my face, then it's an oily mess for me personally and my skin type. But still, see, look at that shine is still there and it's really nice. It's absolutely beautiful. The scent is really nice. It almost smells like candy, like coconut candy. Almost like Pez. Ugh, is that weird? I don't know. I like it personally, but if you're super sensitive, I don't know. It says like it has all natural ingredients or whatnot, so I don't know what kind of natural coconut that is, but just a heads up. Either way, I'm so very excited to use this bad boy up. I don't think I would purchase this one. I think I would like to try the mattifying primer that is exclusive to Ulta because, um, like I said, oily skin, mattifying primers are more friendly to me. <laughs> but still happy that I was able to receive this in my bag so that I could try it. So the last product that I received in the March bag was this highlighter from Pure. And this is their, let's see, After Glow Mini Highlighter. And this is really nice. So it's a really kind of champagne-y color. And that was a heavy swatch, but it's a really beautiful highlighter. It borderline is too dark for me if I were to put it on this heavy but it's really easy to kind of like, let me just uh, work it into the skin a little bit more. But there it is right there. So see how it's a little bit, maybe too dark for my skin tone, but still workable. Um, it has a really nice like vanilla scent to it. And it came in a cute packaging, but I actually took it out of the packaging and um, put it in a Z palette. It's not picking up as nice as it should on camera, but it's a really beautiful color. I really like to use this like in the inner corner. I am wearing it today and for nearly six hours, I believe it stayed on really nicely. So it's not too bad. I don't think it looks too dark in my opinion anyway. But it's a really nice, beautiful highlighter. 
I think I've said that like a million times. So you can buy this at Ulta and for 0.8 ounces, it is $26. And this is the mini size for 2.5 grams. And I think this is plenty. So if you were to buy that large size, it would probably last you until the end of time. But either way, I think it's a really nice product. I like a lot of Pure Cosmetics um, powder products. And I know I love their cushion foundation. So I'm always very accepting and willing to get those kinds of products in my Ipsy bag. So that wraps up March's bag. Let's go ahead and go to April. That is the last bag we have. And now here I have this Moroccan Magic Argan and Essential Oil Lip Balm. Now this is just a standard lip balm. It smells really, really nice. It uh, has like that menthol type smell. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know why I'm swatching it because you can't see it, but I keep this around in my makeup kind of everyday drawer, if you will, and I put it on right before I do my makeup, and then I feel like it definitely preps my skin for whatever lipstick or lip gloss, lip liner that I'm going to put on for the day, but I really do like it, and I definitely feel like you can't have enough lip balms in your life. Seriously. <laughs> So these you can purchase on the Ipsy website and they come in a set of three for $12, which is a really great price for four bucks a piece, I think. And then you can even get even bigger amounts like a six, a 12, a 24, I think it went up to. So you save more money the more you buy. I don't find that there's anything amazing about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's definitely something that I plan to use up for sure. Now this here is from the Balm Cosmetics and this, and this is the Balm Jour Creamy Lip Satin. And this is in the shade Namaste. It is a really cute mini. This, it was a product that I had wanted to try for so very long. And I just never, for some reason, I always go to the, the Balm Cosmetics website. And I put tons of stuff in my cart. And I never check out for some reason. But I was really interested in these lip stains for some weird reason. I don't know, maybe it's just the cute packaging and the cute names. <laughs> so this is in the shade Namaste. And I really think that this is a nice lightweight formula, but I find that I can't put it on over anything because it doesn't necessarily play well with others, but that's okay because it gives me enough pigment on its own anyway. And it is actually what I am wearing right now. I forgot to mention that. It's been a long day, but it is what I'm wearing right now. And it doesn't feel sticky whatsoever. It definitely has a slip to it, but I don't feel like it's gonna like come off if I were to, you know, like, hug someone or anything so so it's just the slightest see my lips right there it's just the slightest uh transfer it's really nice though and then the color is still there I feel like if I wear these for too long they will slightly dry out my lips and it's nothing horrible like a matte liquid lipstick would but just the stain effect I think the dry down makes my lips feel a little chapped if I keep putting it on and if I keep wearing it day over day over day. I hope that makes sense, but either way, I'm still planning on using this up and I actually added on two more of these to my Ipsy bag for $3 each in this exact same size. And I love those colors and I definitely don't regret getting this in my bag. Super happy that I was able to. And I actually didn't mention that if you were to go like on Ipsy's uh, mobile app, you can purchase this for $14 for the, the large full size and it does ship free. As opposed to if you were to go to the Balm Cosmetics website, you have to reach $30, $35 minimum shipping to get free US shipping, but if you were to go to Ipsy, absolutely free. So I would recommend that if you're looking for it, but for 14 bucks, I think it's a really, really nice product. I have one more brush to talk about, and this is from, I think I'm saying this right, from Basanti Cosmetics, and this is their Contour Eyeshadow Blended Out Brush. And this retails on their website for $22. Now it's a really nice packing brush, and it's in this beautiful, beautiful packaging. It's kind of like a still gray. And I really like using this to pack colors in the corner of my eye. Very nice. I've washed this a few times over, just like those other brushes. Very soft. I don't find any bristles falling out or anything. So really, what more can you ask for, right? All right, so now I have here an eyeshadow single, and this is from Laura Sanchez. And this is the Moods eyeshadow. And the shade I have here is Alien Turquoise. This packaging is absolutely adorable, so it even has like the, the back of it. So it's like a little fortune teller. How cute is that? They definitely 
definitely were trying to show off with this one and they've succeeded. <laughs> so now this is what I have on my eyes here. Like this is just one swipe. It's so very nice. And so it is what I have on today. So don't mind my foundation. I just talked about that. But it's really beautiful. And I will go ahead and insert a picture here. So that way you can see at the beginning of the day what it looked like. I don't feel like there was, um, you know, fading or anything like that. I did my foundation first. And then I went in with this eye color. There was literally no fallout. So that was impressive in and of itself. Now this is a single, but the eyeshadow palette that it comes in was on the Ipsy website, um, marked down for $25. And honestly, using it today, I'm kind of even more tempted to purchase it because it has really nice fun colors inside of it. And with a formula like this, if it's a consistent all the way around in the palette formula, I'm all for that. It's really loud, Slightly clownish to some people. It's still fun. So I wore it. I rocked it all day today. I love it. But I, that's definitely what I like about Ipsy too is you can try colors, formulas, brands that you might not have tried ever elsewhere. But it's really cool. And for $10 a month, you can't knock that. So I was very excited. All right. So now lastly, I have here a primer from Tarte. And this is the Base Tape Hydrating Primer. And this came in a really cute packaging. So this you can find at Ulta. And the full size is $30 for one ounce. And this here is 0.33 fluid ounces. So it's definitely a great size, especially for a primer. You don't really need much of it. So I really like the scent of this. It has a really light coconut scent to it, which is really nice. I think it's very similar to the First Aid Beauty primer that we just talked about. And it goes on really smooth and it's a really lightweight, oh my gosh, that was a ton, but it's really lightweight. It almost feels like the Smashbox Primerizer. It's really thin and nearly watery, or I should say runny. I don't know which is the better word for it, but it's really thin in consistency and it definitely um, kind of just like melts into the skin. So that's really nice. I have really liked it a lot so far. I don't think that it does like amazing things for my pores or anything, but as far as hydration, it's really good. Um, you know, something that I would probably purchase instead is like the Flower Beauty Primer. The, their hydrating primer is really nice. I absolutely love the Laura Mercier hydrating primer. So I don't know if I would repurchase this one, but I do like what I have here and I don't think it's a bad product whatsoever. That about wraps everything up you guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to hang out with me today. This is four months of Ipsy in review. I hope it was educational or entertaining or just um, something for you to listen to while you wash your dishes. I hope you're having a great day. Go ahead and check out my unbagging for May's bag which I got a lot of cool things I think but Go ahead, stay kind, be awesome, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.